Hello everyone and welcome to Learn by Watch. In today's session, we'll be covering Bootstrap web page. Uh, what I mean by that is we'll be creating a web page with the help of Bootstrap. We'll mostly be covering Carousel from Bootstrap, which is a component in Bootstrap. So let's see how we can do that. Let's get started. Let's begin the making of our web page and for that uh, we will just copy the starter template provided to us by Bootstrap and paste it into our sublime text and save it. You can always remove the comments given there if you are like, thinking that it's crowding the area present and then what else we are going to do here is we are going to start with the components. The very first component that I'm going to add is navbar. What is navbar? As you can see, you have bootstrap, home, docs, example icons, all of that on the top in this purple color line or area. Now, this area, this whole area is your navbar. So, there are many kinds of navbars that you can add only containing the brand or having all of these buttons and search, all of that. And then some something with image, something with image and brand name. Okay, so what we are going to do, we are just going to copy the first one. And although we are not going to put search into our page, we are still copying that. We will just remove what we don't want, right? So for example, we don't want this form, right? Just going to remove this form which has search and remove and save. Very well. Now, we are also going to remove the disabled button which is already disabled, which is here, this li. Oh, also, uh, disabled, how did they disable that link? Using the class disabled. Okay. And then, using the class disabled, basically they styled it. They made it look like it's a little, I'll just show you. When we refresh, this is the navbar we have and you can see that the disabled one looks different than the others. First of all, when I hover over them, they light up a bit, but this one nothing happens. And this is all done by CSS, by Bootstrap and how we are disabling it using area disabled equal to two. So we are just going to remove this because this is something we don't require right now. Then we have drop down with some action and other action and something else. You can always add href to it and link it to other pages like that. Right? So this is our navbar. What I'm going to do here is right now my navbar is navbar light, background light. That means we have a background light and navbar light means it will give black color to the text so that it's visible on this background light. What I'll do, I'll just change background to dark. And show you how it looks there. As you can see right now, black and white refresh. Now both text and the background is black, and it's very hard to see home link drop down navbar. So what we are going to do here is we are going to change this to dark as well, and then we'll be able to see it properly, and it will look really nice. Now the second thing what we can do is we can add a background color here. So for that, I am going to use normal CSS here. So style, if you don't know how to use CSS, there is a course which I have provided, Alisha's Guide to CSS, that is on Learn by Watch. You can watch it there and I will give the link below in the description box. For now, we can just remove the type from here and I will select body and the body I am going to provide background color. So for background color, we will be using color picker, CSS color picker provided us by Google and then you can either copy the hex code or RGB. I am going to copy the RGB code and I will just paste it here and you should write RGB and open close braces, paste it there, there. refresh and now we have this light blue color in our background. Now, the next element that we are going to add is carousel. Carousel is like if you want to display some PPT or some images, right? So something like this. First slide, then you will have second slide, then you have third slide. So let's copy this up 
and paste it in our web page. Now, before I paste it in our web page, I am going to make sure that I'm adding it after the nav is ended. And then I will also add a div with class equal to container. And similarly close this div. And inside this div is where, where I'm putting my carousel. Okay. And what else am I going to do? I am going to first save this and let's see how it looks. Yeah. So you can't see anything at all because there's no image source given, right? So let's go here, search for some dog images. Say copy image address. Make sure that the copied link has .jpg or some image extension. As you can see here, I did not get any image extension. That means this is a wrong URL or something. So let's open this and then copy image address. Once you do that and paste it here, you can see you got the .jpg one. So save it, then let's go and take another one from here. Or let's just put this one only everywhere so that uh, we don't have to spend a lot of time on doing that. So we're just going to copy this and paste it instead of the lines here. Paste. Then paste and save. So we have currently three slides here. Let's go back, refresh. And yeah, we have it. What we are going to do first is, first of all, I'm going to give some image width and height to this image because you can see it's really, really big. So style is equal to uh, height. Let's give the height as 400 pixels and width as 600 pixels. I'm not really sure how big it's going to be. Let's just see. So I've just done that to the very first image. Let's just refresh. So this is how it will be. So as you can see, the height should be a bit more as compared to the width. What I'm going to do is I am going to increase the width as well to like 400 itself and this to 3. Still does not look very good. So what we're going to do here is, oh, I have an idea. What we are going to do here is, first let's copy this style let it be so copy it and paste it to wherever you have the image and similarly here done and then what i'm going to do is now a div container needs some padding on the top as well padding not padding actually margin on top so we are going to style equal to margin top as at least 20 pixels is what I think. And let's go back, refresh. Yeah. 20 pixels, uh, I'm going to just give it to like in percentage instead. And I will give it as a 20%. Let's see how that looks. Semicolon, don't forget the semicolon. 20%, as we can see, is a lot. So we're going to shift back to, I think, 7%. Great. Uh, I think I want it in center a bit. So let's change it to like 9% maybe. And refresh. Yeah. So we have it. Yeah. Now what I'm going to do next is I am going to add a button below. So for that, let's go back to a bootstrap and go to button. So in this button, uh, so over here I can choose any of these buttons that I want. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this dark one because our theme is actually dark for now. You can try with any theme that you want. You can change, you can play with navbar colors, you can play with all of these button colors. And inside the div container, but outside the div of carousel. So this is the div. I'm adding button and then I will be 
adding this button inside another div here closing this div here and let's go back refresh and we have the button here so the very next step that you must be knowing i'm going to do is i'm going to provide it with style now what kind of style obviously i'm going to give it margin above and on its left so margin top so margin top uh, i will give it as 20 pixels and then my margin right margin left yeah so margin left would be according to pixels let's see if i'm wrong or right go back refresh 50 pixels is way too less i cannot be thinking about percentage yeah so what i'm going to do i'm going to change it to 45 percent yeah great now we have a button also here now uh, to this button i'm going to add some text instead of that let's go now since uh we have already added let's go now let's refresh and we have let's go now we can also add some border around the carousel but uh and instead of doing that what i'm going to do first is i am going to give it this page a heading so over here just inside the div container i will give an h1 okay and in h1 i will give a heading that meet my dog i don't know zulu and then in h1 i will give it some styling by giving it color for color let's run to color picker with blue i think we can go for a little darker shade of blue And just copy the hex code here and paste the hex code here save and save the entire thing go back to your page and refresh so meet my dog zulu is way towards the left side we want it in center so for that what i'm going to do is i am going to give it a class of text center and over here as well text let's go back and refresh and we have our text in center and because of which our let's go has been moved because we gave it to the div so let's remove the margin left for now and refresh and we have it so meet my dog and then the dog's flight show and then let's go is there you can also add like connect it to several pages like that so there are various various components on bootstrap that you can use to design beautiful websites so just like i showed you one with presentation of your own dog images you can use any other image you can choose different different images increase number of slides use other uh, components like alert something like you're alerting of simple warning or if you want you can add a card you can make an image gallery for yourself as well with the help of cards also you can make that using this card with some image caps and description you can make image galleries as well you can have list groups in your page there are so many of these you can cover each one of them and try it for yourself right Thank you so much for joining. I hope you liked the session. I believe you enjoyed the making of this web page and now you can create your own as well. Thank you so much for watching and do like this video and share it with your friends.